YouTube, I'm back and today I'm going to be filming a video for you guys and it's going to be my, about my top three antivirus slash security apps for Android. Um, there are a lot of good ones on the market and so these are not like the holy grail. These are just the three that I've used and that I've really liked. Um, starting off before I mention them all, I do want to say that you should only have one antivirus app on your phone at a time. I have three just for the sake of the video so you guys can see them without me happening to download them um, during their video, but you should only have one because they can end up canceling each other out and then not protecting your phone at all. So make sure if you do have a couple just to kind of decide which one you want to use that you delete the ones you've chosen not to use and just have one. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. I've made my icons really big for this video just so you can see because this phone has a hard time focusing sometimes. So um, normally my icons are not this big, but for the video they will be. The three I'm going to be showing you today are Avast Mobile Security and Antivirus, 360 Mobile Safe, and the one that I cur am currently using, which is CM Security and Find Your Phone. So let's go ahead and just start in the order that they are. This is the Avast, um, Avast Mobile Security and Antivirus, and obviously it has a virus scanner. Um, this off this offers App Shield, Message Shield, and Web Shield. So the three things that it will sh it will go through and shield you from. But um, we'll just go down the menu real quick. And it's Virus Scanner, Anti Theft, Backup, which you have to install the backup separately. Application Locking, Privacy Manager, Application Management, SMS and Call Filter, Firewall and network meter sorry i couldn't see that through the camera so that's what took so long sorry about that one but yes so uh <laughs> back into the video um they do also offer a premium which is normally right down here i took it off i don't really know why um in the settings i had taken it off but they have a premium one that is 199 a month or 14.99 a year and it comes with app locking which I found weird because when I clicked on the app locking, it seemed like it was going to let me do it, but it says that it's included in the premium version. So, um, I'm not quite sure about that. Um, you would probably want to check it out yourself. Um, but it seems to me like it was going to let me lock my app. So, but it says it, it also, um, offers ad detector, which will kind of like let you know if the ads or no, 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 this is what it does. It will, um, tell you where the ads are coming from. So like if you downloaded an app or a couple of apps and you, all of a sudden you're getting all these ads and you don't know why, you don't know which app is coming from, especially if like it starts to happen a little bit later after you downloaded apps, you have no idea which one it's from. It will tell you which one it's coming from, which I think is awesome. I don't pray for the, I haven't paid for the premium, um, but I just think that's a really cool feature. I may consider it um, in the future just because of that. Also offers premium anti-theft, which I think it said that it would um, record their voice. Like if your phone got stolen, it would record their voice and get like a picture of the person who had stolen your phone, which is kind of cool. I don't know how good that it works, but I mean, I think that's pretty awesome. And then also, pre also premium backup, which means it will... It will save your videos, music, and apps. That's something that it doesn't offer on the free one. I think it will only save your contacts and um, SMS, I believe, I want to say. Um, during the AV, AV test, um, 2014, it got a 5.3 out of 6 for protection, which isn't very good. I think um, where it shines is the usability, which was 6 out of 6 for that and um I think the usability is really nice and everything but the fact that I got five out of three this is definitely the the one on the lower end um of my list it's one that um I probably won't get again I like how it's just so simple to set up and everything but I think that once I found that out which when I was doing my research I found that out yesterday I've just decided I probably won't use it but it's really not a bad one like it's it's not bad. At, when I had it on my phone, I never had an issue at all. Um, so just kind of your personal preference. But um, let's just go ahead and get into the next one. 
which is the 360, 360 mobile safe. And this one offers phone cleanup, which if you click that, it will just not clean up. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Phone checkup. So, um, if you just press that, it'll quickly check up your phone, make sure nothing is wrong with it. No viruses. It'll check your apps and everything. So that's pretty awesome. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> um, call at call an SMS blocker, which is a nice feature to have, especially considering it's not a paid app. System cleanup, antivirus, anti-theft, which I have it disabled right now because I won't be using this app after the video. Um, I When I did have it, I had it um, activated and it was a really good one. I never had it stolen, but um, it's really good. It get, just gives you peace of mind. The Vault, the Vault um, offers a private message lock and an app lock. So you can be texting people in here that you don't want anybody else to see if they pick up your phone and you can also lock your apps with the Vault. Then it also has contact backups and data usage. Data usage is another really good, um, good feature with this. And I don't really need to because I just literally run off of Wi-Fi like all the time at my house. But, um, for people who want to watch their data, this is a really great option. And then there's also another page which offers an app manager and power management. Oh, sorry guys, I got blurry. But, um, there we go. Okay. Some of the settings that you can, that you can change, which are kind of cool, is shake and clean up, which is cool. If you, like, shake your phone, it will literally, like optimize your phone, which I think is really cool. You can have a floating window, which I will show you when I go back to my homepage, um, to show you the third one that I'm talking about. There's a floating window there. And if you just press that, it can clean up your phone from there. And then, um, you can change your language. I mean, there are a couple other on here, but another one that I like is you can change the language because not everybody speaks English. It's not their first language or if we're those international people, um, you can choose to change your languages. And this one on the AV test 2014 got six out of six for protection and usability. So that's a really good, that's a really good one. It passed all the tests, which are great. So, um, I will go ahead and go back and I'll show you the third one, but I'll show you that floating window I was talking about as well. Right here up in the corner. You can't really see it very well, but if I click that, sorry guys, I have a cold. I sound terrible. I know it's probably not. It's not even letting me click it. Okay. Let me switch hands here without shaking uncontrollably. See? I will pop up and I can choose to boost my phone here. Of course it won't it won't focus for you guys, which I'm so sorry, but if I press this, it'll boost it. There we go. Now it's see instead of 85, it was 45. Um memory 45% memory used. So that's really good. It cleaned it up really well. So let's go to my favorite now, which I recently, I have clean master, which is a good, um, other thing to have to kind of keep your phone cleaned out and stuff. It's one that I like. I can make a video for you guys. If you um, want me to, if you leave a comment below, I can do that for you guys. But, um, so when I heard about this one, I'm like, Oh, well, I love clean master. Let me try this out. I love this. It is just like so simple to use. It has a lot of features, which are awesome. And it's just so clean and pretty. <laughs> That's another thing I love about it. So let's go ahead and get right in. If I click this, it would just scan my phone, but we really don't want to do that right now. So I would click this right here and this is kind of the menu and it offers to scan your SD card clean up your junk, memory boost, find your phone, call blocking. Oh, we're getting blurry again. I'm so sorry about this. this that's one thing to film YouTube videos on this LG Volt is a little hard because it's always getting blurry and it's annoying. And I know it's definitely annoying to you guys. So I am going to be getting a camera pretty soon so we won't have this problem. So hopefully you guys will stick around until I do. But I'll just go back. Let me try to get it to focus a little bit better because it's just terrible. Sorry, I'm wasting your time. I hope you don't hit the exit button. Well, anyways, this is, I'll go, just go down the list from, and hopefully it will just focus sometime soon. 
Paul Blacking, Locate Family, which is a really cool one. Um, I don't really have it set up right now, but I think that would be awesome, like locating your kids um, if they have a phone or your husband <laughs> stalk your significant other. Apps Lock and then Settings, which is right here. And the settings, you can um, schedule a scan, which I think is cool, so you don't have to always worry about, oh, clicking the button. You can just schedule them to happen, I think, once a day, once a week, or once a month. And then um, apps, you can add apps to the ignore list where they won't check them all the time. I mean, I don't know really why you would want to do that, I guess. Maybe if you still just want the app, even though you know it's probably not best for your phone, you could do that. Um, turn on, off, on or off real-time protection, save browsing, and auto update. And then you can also have um, turn on or off the faster scan which is just it just scans it a little bit faster i kind of like it to take its time because i like it to be a little bit more in depth i want to know that's really checking my phone and then also you can change the language on this as well and this one was ranked number one by the ab test which is awesome and it also obviously got a six out of six for protection and usability so this is my favorite right now i really like this one you just click scan and it'll just go through and literally scan all the apps that you have on your phone pretty quickly and do a really good job. It lets you know that you're safe. Um, the only thing that does suck is kind of down here they always give you options to install something or join something, which is kind of annoying, but I just hit done. It's that simple. So that is my third and favorite one. Um, this is, like I said, the one that I'm going to be keeping when I delete the other two. Um, I'll probably end up switching back and forth at some point, but yeah, that's my video guys. I hope you guys liked it. Um, comment, let me know, like, and subscribe and I'll be making more. Thank you so much. Bye YouTube.